Yeah, you saw correct. That is the new Smilodon taking down a T-Rex. Oh my gosh, guys, it is looking amazing and I'm so excited for it to come out. The Smilodon rework has made a lot of progress since you last looked at it and is going to come out looking fabulous. Not only does it have a size increase, but it also has longer legs, a better posture. You can see a clear difference between the old model and the new model that we have here. Smilodon isn't the only mod that Rosepile is working on. As you can see here, we have Dominus, which is a new dragon mod that she's working on. There isn't much to show right now, but it is something to look out for. Ex Argola has shown images of their fictional Rex and Spino called Imperis Rex and Leviathan. Obviously, they're not trying to be accurate here, but I think the designs are pretty awesome and I can't wait to see what kind of abilities they give these guys in the future. While the Spino does have these Godzilla-like dorsal spines, what I'm really interested in is the horns on this Rex. It has multiple spines going along down its back and to its partially armored tail, which I think is a very interesting design. They also kind of just snuck in this glow plume right here, which I think looks pretty awesome. It reminds me a lot of my Eep Macrothorax and it kind of has this little scary vibe going for it. I think they're gonna be really cool to play because I love the way its movement shows up. The ancient monster mod community has this Giga Mandra right here, which looks kind of like a platypus, but with a leafy tail, but also with like an ankylosaurus club at the end. I can't really tell, but it seems like it's going to be a really fast kind of half amphibious creature. It's got a lot of personality, so I for one am excited to play it in the future. A big surprise to me is that they decided to remodel the Moraquil giant bird monster mod that we saw released earlier this year. I don't really know what prompted the change, but both the adult model and the baby model are getting this rework. When you compare the new and old models, you can tell that the changes are massive. The new model is overall less bulky in both the head and the frame in general. The wings seem both sharper and thinner, and the crest on the head only really covers the nose instead of going all the way towards the back. And it's also got that one extremely long claw on its forelimbs. The new animations definitely reflect the more agile nature of this predator, and I like the direction they're taking it so far. I will admit that I do like the old model's bulkier frame. It feels a little bit more threatening, and this one kind of looks like a chicken without its feathers. But other than that, I think it's great. They already have skins for it, and this is the Blue Jay one, which you can tell immediately, no questions asked. The default skin is the same brown and yellow. I hope they brighten it up a bit. I like the bald eagle skin, but I get very big terror bird vibes from it. The red-tailed hawk skin is another one that's heavy in the brown. It has a little bit of orange and red going for it. But my favorite is definitely this Takis skin right here, and it might help that I get two views, both the side and the top view, but it's a lot different from the other ones, and that's probably why I like it so much. Last but not least is the secretary skin, which I like because it gives us another skin that's not just a bunch of shades of brown. Morkul is also getting a bunch of new abilities. The one you want to look out for is air grab, which will allow you to pick up other dinosaurs and drop them. And that's about it for our mod news this week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.